Welcome everyone. I am really excited that all of you are like excited to take my course. This is a course that I've actually been building over the past year. And this is the first time I'm going to teach this course. I hope you guys learn a lot from this. Let me go over who I am a little bit for those who don't know. My name is Mike. I am currently a um, software security engineer at the Department of Defense, but I've been doing a lot of binary exploitation and reverse engineering for a long time. I've been doing it as, as a student. I helped out with UMD CTF. Um, I do a little bit for my job as well. And I also enjoy doing like a lot of C programming, low level kind of low level kind of work. And that's what I enjoy doing in terms of cybersecurity. About this course and why did I create it? I, enjoyed the content of EMPM 691, and that really helped me understand some of the core fundamentals of, it, of binary exploitation a little bit better, but I wanted more. And I want to actually be able to do, I want to be able to learn about like different kinds of binary exploitation too. So I thought, why not continue from where 691 left off? In particular, we're going to go deeper onto like Linux specific, not just Unix exploitations. We're going to be learning about user and kernel space hacking, and then I also want to introduce some embedded systems too, because um, Linux is on a lot of embedded systems. And also like there's uh, some differences too, like especially in bare metal embedded where you can, you'll see like very, a lot of similarities to like what you might see in like a Linux hack, but there might be a different twist to it. So kind of like seeing a little bit of what you might see in the real world if you work with Linux or like embedded systems. So kind of giving you that kind of application to it. And much of this is also coming from my experiences also participating in CTFs as well and developing CTFs and additional courses beyond 691 that I took outside of Mage. This is kind of a really like well-rounded and it's combining a lot of different things. You might see a lot of open source resources that you can like help you continue to learn because as much as like I can stand up here and lecture, a lot of this is actually being hands-on with the material and actually knowing where to look for things. Because a lot of this is just me looking around or me knowing which courses are good or not good. So I want to give you like, here's like the fundamentals and here's like how you can do certain things. And if you want to continue and advance, here's additional resources. The learning does not stop here. And then a little bit on like how this course is going to be structured. Right off the bat, we're going to start off with like continuing with user space exploits. So it's basically things like dynamic memory vulnerabilities, ROP chain, even like race condition or like bypassing sandboxes. And then from there, like once we explore a few more of those vulnerabilities, we're going to then go into, we're going to go into the Linux kernel and learn about how the kernel works itself. So we're going to be writing a couple of kernel modules and just learn how to interact with the kernel. From there, once we understand the Linux kernel, we're going to learn how to hack some of the vulnerabilities and also some of the things you might see in like on um, the ways that you can hijack the system. This is kind of like how malware acts in general. And then we'll, we'll go into embedded systems for about a week or two. Most of the assignments are going to be hands-on assignments. There's not going to be a like actual final exam, traditional exam. What the final actually is, is it's accumulation of like three assignments that you're going to do over a week. Over the course of the semester, you're going to be given like, here's one homework assignment. We're going to focus on a ROP chain and you're going to learn how to exploit that. And then the next week, dynamic memory, or th and then it, we keep going. The final, I'm going to give you three random ones and you're going to figure out what the vulnerability is and how to exploit it. And that's going to be, and that's going to be the idea of the course. 